I'm here to talk about the project called Lake Victoria Environmental Management Project Phase 2, uh, which is a project implemented by the Lake region in the five East African community partner states. The project objectives. Objective one is to improve collaborative management of shared water and fisheries resources. And objective two is to reduce environmental stress. Objective three is uh, the one containing interventions of uh, non-point sources of pollution in Lake Victoria Basin and targeting River Nyando catchment. The intervention include addressing the degradation of the river banks, forests of all land in the River Nyando Basin and around the lake shore. The Teisele Ferro group is found in Nant South in Chebilati location. We started the group in 2003 with an objective of uh, conservation and water conservation. So far, we have protected a spring, and from that spring, we are pumping clean water. This clean water has assisted the beneficiaries so much because previously, they used to drink that water due to erosion, which was polluting the rivers. But now, as we have protected the spring, they can get clean water. So we are happy that this clean water has a lot of benefits to our health. Our health has improved. We don't have waterborne diseases. Our livestock also is getting water and the production of milk has increased. The source of money, we have gotten an aid from World Bank through LFM2, plus a community contribution for the activities we have done of constructing a water storage tank we have bought pipes for, for water. A uh, total uh, project cost is 3 million uh, 200,000. And up to now, the FEM2 gave us the first disbursement of 796,000. <laughs> The objective of CDDs is to make the communities be responsible for environmental conservation. We do so by giving them incentives, and uh, incentives mean the activities include also uh, activities that are of personal benefit the communities. So as they undertake environmental improvement and conservation, they also get some activities to improve their livelihoods. So far, the few groups that have implemented the activities, we have seen a lot of happiness. They are really happy and appreciate the assistance that they are getting. I come from India and I've been in the U.S. now for about 25 years and uh, what I will do is uh, to make sure that uh, uh, the work of Lite after, you know, because of the kind of work that you're doing is uh, also publicized on the World Bank uh, website uh, in terms of other people getting to know of the kind of work that you're doing and uh, from, uh, uh, from the bank side I think uh, all that uh, I want to say is that we are very pleased to be uh, part of this whole process and we are very pleased that we can help in some way in terms of meeting the kinds of uh, aspirations that you have and your wishes that you have in terms of uh, moving ahead.
So in the community-driven development uh, approach, uh, communities take responsibilities in terms of uh, leadership in identifying the project uh, they want to undertake and uh, implementing the project. Upper North Abodo was given uh, has been funded twice. The first time we were given 779,440, which we were supposed to use on tree nursery materials and equipment. We were also supposed to use it for the construction of the fodder plots. And then also for the construction of the zero grazing units. Some seedlings we have given to three schools. That is Nyabola Primary, Nyabola Secondary, and Tulu Primary. Then, achievement on the side of dairy cows, right now we are milking. We have one of our cows has calved down, it's giving 17 liters of milk. The project has changed our life. Since the tree nursery is an income generating activity, we get some income from there and also we get some income for mil from milk. So these ones we can use in the group issues. Some we use on our own issues, depending on how a group member has worked for the group. Whereas in the other approach, co-management uh, communities will uh, participate in identifying uh, the the key areas or concerns then will be given uh, support uh, by the technical staff uh, on the ground. Communities have shown a lot of interest, particularly in working with LIVEMP in this uh, CDD approach to get more experience in managing uh, their affairs. Uh, and uh, LIVEMP has, has uh, put in a lot of resources in building their capacities, right from developing uh, the proposals to now implementing and then uh, the backstopping, the technical backstopping. Uh, Livemp has also gone a step ahead and uh, looked at how they can enhance their livelihood. So there are a number of activities which can also uh, contribute to the improvement of their livelihoods and enhance the benefits in the Lake Basin region. Yeah, me.